Okay guys, uh, let us uh, solve problems in electrical engineering. So, today, we will discuss some uh, sample problems in electrical engineering, uh, typically uh, uh, coming, up, coming out in uh, quizzes or board exam. So, in this case, we will try to discuss some uh, electrical engineering problems with our uh, reference book 1001 electrical engineering book of uh, Rojas so if you are a student uh, please uh, watch on these videos so you will be familiar in how to solve uh, electrical engineering problems okay so we will try to put a solution process on a particular problem. So let's proceed. What are the, those our phrases in solving problem, a worded problem in electrical engineering? In this case, uh, our topic is uh, only for a basic principle in electricity. So. With reference to the 1001 electrical engineering book, so we will discuss uh, all the problem in test one. So let's uh, proceed with this solution process. Number one, uh, hmm? let us uh, let us uh, proceed with the solution process. So. Number one, our solution process will be extract all the given values on the problem. So we have to extract the givens, all the givens. Let us uh, break down. Number two, find and use applicable formulas. So let's uh, look for applicable formulas uh, on the problem. Number three is draw and sketch the problem statement for ease of understanding and visualization. So, uh, let us drawing or sketch so we can easily understand what is the uh, statement being uh, discussed on the problem, being uh, and what they call this explain. So, in engineering you have to draw so you will be easily understand and then for drop equation so when you have a formula and then you may you may come out an uh, equation because of the some unknowns uh, variables that uh, we are looking for so then plug in plug in values on the formula or the formulated uh, equation and then solve for the required in the problem so let's proceed and let us apply all the applicable formulas on a given problem so let's proceed with the, this question number one a positively charged dielectric has a charge of two columns if 12.5 times 10 to the 8 and 3 electrons are added to it what will be the net charge of the said dielectric so we are looking for the net charge so our formula will be okay we will try to speak uh, taglish so everyone will understand i have a difficulty in speaking english as well <laughs> so based on our solution process let us uh, break down all the given so what are those given? What are the given? So our given values. So let us uh, break it down. The positively charged. So let us proceed. Let us give it a positive charge Q. Okay, let's say it is num Q1. So you have two columns. Okay. And then the next uh, charge will be 12.5 times 10 to the 18 so let us q2 provide q2 is, is 12.5 times 10 to the 18 okay so 
in this case this is in electron so we have to convert this in columns so we have to convert this in columns okay what are the missing what is the required uh, in the uh, given problem so the required is the q net how do you solve the q net uh, the q net will be q1 plus q2 so in this case we have a equation we have formula so let us plug in the given values so this one so we have two columns 2c plus since uh, this one is negative uh, is electron so we have to provide a negative sign so negative um, 12.5 times 10 to the 18 electron so we have to divide it by 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electron because one column is equal to that so we have to one column is equal to 6.25 times 10 to the 18 electron or proton since this in this case uh, the given is electrons we we use the electron so what is the value of this so i'll try to change the color into yellow so our value for this is two columns so it will become negative because it is electron so okay in this case our net uh charge will be two columns plus negative two column so the answer will be zero two minus two is zero columns so that is the unit okay in this case we have the final answer so that is our uh, answer for this number one what item what uh, letter is the answer letter no. let's uh, encircle the correct answer letter d so when you forgot the negative sign you will you will arrive to the answer letter a we came up with a negative sign because of electrons since the uh, unit yung hinahanap okay let's uh, proceed to the question number two a battery can deliver 10 joules of energy to move 5 columns of charge. What is the potential difference between the terminals of the battery? So, in this case, let us uh, write again the given uh, values. So, okay. What are the values? Values are so let us uh, write again given our 10 joules and 5 columns so what are these so this one is q this one is work or energy energy move so since one volt is equals to 1 volt is equals to joules per column so per let what is the spelling of columns so this one so yan yung uh, that is the units so by this uh, unit uh, analysis we came up with the solution so let us b is equals to work over q then let us plug in the given values we have 10 joules then 5 columns so we will came up with the answer of 2 
bolts so that is uh, that simple solution so this is the final answer our answer will be letter a two bolts okay let's proceed to the question number three a cloud of 2.5 times 10 to the 19 electrons move past a given point every two seconds how much is the intensity of the electron flow so in this case what are the lo uh, let us br uh, let us uh, break down again all the given in the problem so what are the given the given is okay the given is uh, 2.5 times 10 to the 19 electron so in this case this is the charge Q and then we have a given uh, 2 seconds this is time so in this case uh, based on the given we can formulate uh, the formula since we have a formula charge is equals to current multiplied by time so we can uh, directly substitute the given into the formula then we came up with since uh, our the, the unit of q should be columns so we will uh, convert the given into columns so let's uh, directly convert it 2.5 times uh, 10 to the 19 uh, electron so based on the, our uh, previous solution our conversion for electron into columns is 6.25 times 10 to the 18 um, electron per column so we have I times 2 seconds so in this case uh, the unit of time should be in seconds so our given is in seconds so we, we don't need to uh, we don't need to convert it so and then since the uh, we are looking for the electron flow so electron flow is current okay so in this case we can came up with the final answer okay cancel it on e and then we will come up with current so in this case we will cancel 10 to the 18 so above uh, there's a remaining one okay 10 to the one okay so this case we will have a 25 multiplied by 2 times 6.25 what is the final answer 2 times 6.25 is 12.5 uh, okay 25 divided 12.5 is 2 2 amperes so this is the answer letter letter b okay next we'll come up with number, two, number four the current in an electric lamp is 5 amperes. What are the quantity of electricity flows towards the filament in 6 minutes? So again, since uh, we already know the formula, we can uh, directly plug in the given values. So Q is equal to IT. Then our given is 5 amperes and then this uh, time should be in seconds we have to convert the given uh, 6 minutes into seconds so 6 minutes multiplied into 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute so this one will 
arrive into 6 times 6 36 360 seconds so 5 times 360 is 1800 columns okay so that's the value we are looking for 1800 columns okay be aware of the uh, units because in this case if you forgot to convert the minutes into seconds you will arrive with the wrong answer you will arrive only into letter a this is the correct answer but when you did not uh, convert the minutes into seconds you will come up with 5 times 6 only and then it is already on the choices you so your answer will be wrong okay next a constant current of 4 amperes a capacitor how long will it take to accumulate the total charge of 8 columns on a plate so let us uh, an, uh, let us okay let us directly substitute all the given into the equation so onto the formula our formula is q charge multiply i i t is equals to we have 4 amperes we are looking for the time this is the how long how long so this is t then this one is q this 4 amperes is i so our q is 8 columns so we will come up with the time is equals to 8 over 4 so we have 2 seconds okay so this, this is the final answer letter E okay next The substation bus bar is made up of 2 inches round copper bars 20 feet long. What is the resistance of each bar if the resistivity is 1 point is 1.724 times 10 to the negative 6 ohm cm. So okay, uh in this case, we will come up with a drawing. So let's draw the given uh, for problem so we can visualize. So we have substation bus bar round copper, two inches round copper. So this since this is round, so the two inches will be the diameter. So yeah, let's say we have that. So the diameter is two inches. 2 inch and then the length of the copper round bar is 20 feet 20 feet long okay so we have resistivity so we will come up with the formula to be used is r is equals to density ah density resistivity multiply to the length over area so the area is what is the area of the round uh, since th that is round our formula will be area is equals to pi over 4 d squared since uh, the given is uh, diameter but we have to came up with uh, one on one unit only on the Ano, on the length let's say this is inches we have to co let's uh, let's convert this uh, 2 inches and, and then this 20 feet long into centimeter ok 
So let's plug in the given into the formula. Okay. Okay. Uh, resistivity times length over pi over four times d squared. So we have. 1.724 times 10 to the negative 6 so ohm centimeter divided by uh, this uh, our 20 feet is will be converted into centimeter so we have to multiply 1 feet is equals to 12 inches then 1 feet 12 inches then 1 inch is equals to 2.54 centimeter so 1 inch okay then let us uh, substitute y over 4 our diameter will be converted into centimeter so since this is 2 inches multiplied into 2.54 centimeter so we have inches so we will come up with a resistance so using your calculator uh, the answer will be since uh, feet will be cancelled, we'll so this is in square as well. So our units is in ohm centimeter, ohms and chaka centimeter. So we will come up with the answer 5.185 times 10 to the negative 5 ohms okay so this is the final answer next uh, let us encircle the correct answer letter C next number 7 Okay, uh, let's uh, solve this number 7, question number 7. Given the formula, let us uh, read. Determine the resistance of bus bar made of copper if the length is 10 meter long and the cross section is 4 by 4 centimeter squared. Use 1.724 micro ohms centimeter as resistivity. So, we'll come up with uh, the same formula used on the previous problem. So, let's write all the given again. So, we will not be... Our formula will be R is equals to resistivity times length over area. So, what are the given? Uh, length is in meter then area our resistivity is 1.724 for four one times since it is micro ohm times 10 to the negative 6 ohm centimeter okay then our area is 4 by 4 centimeter squared. So this is 4 times 4. 16 centimeter squared. Okay. So our only given need to substitute, uh, to convert into centimeter is the length. So we have to multiply what? 100 centimeter is equals to 1 meter. So, you will come up with 10 times 100 is 1000 centimeter. Okay. 
let's uh, plug in all the given into the formula. So we have 1.7241 times 10 to the negative 6 multiply into 1000 centimeter. Okay. All over 16 squared. Okay. So our answer will be 1. Point what? So we'll come up to 107.75 times 10 to the negative 6 ohms or resistance is 1.07 8 times 10 to the negative 4 ohms. So we will come up with answer is letter D. Okay. So always uh, use your uh, scientific calculator in solving this uh, problem. So you will come up with the same answer okay let's proceed to the next question question number eight nichrome ribbon resistor element each has a resistance of one ohm the element is made up made from sheet of nichrome alloy 0 0.25 0 0.025 centimeter t if the width of the ribbon is 0.3 centimeter what length is required per element? Assume a specific resistance of nichrome alloy to be 109 micro ohm centimeter. Uh, okay, again, we will use the same. Uh, we will use the same formula as we as used in the previous problem. Okay, so we have R is equals to resistivity times length over area what we are looking for what is the length required so we are looking for this L so let's uh, uh, convert the formula into this like this so uh, the length L will be in the left side length is equals to RA over resistivity okay so what is the area what is the resistance okay our uh, resistance is 1 ohm so you have 1 ohm multiply into the area what is the area so from the given made up of nichrome sheet alloy thick so okay our formula our area will be 0 0.025 centimeter times 0 0.03 so 0 0.025 times 0 0.3 okay so our uh, resistivity will be 109 times 10 to the negative 6 so don't forget the units since uh, in the given is we have the same uh, units, we, we did not uh, do the conversion centimeter, tapos ohm centimeter. Okay, so our answer for this is using our calculator is 68.5. Sixty-eight point eight centimeter. 
that is the value of L or the length. Okay. What letter is this? Letter A. That is the answer. Okay. Next, uh, let's proceed to the question number nine. Oh, this is a long uh, question. I think this is hard. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's solve this uh, problem. This is a uh, something uh, difficult problem. So our formula is the same with the previous. So we will have a formula R is equals to resistivity length uh, over our uh, uh, area let's uh, consider a uh, differential element ring so we have uh, let's draw it okay let's say this is the copper bar cut into okay then this is the inside diameter this is the thickness of the bar okay so this is t okay then this one is the okay this is the this is the cent center then Okay, Let's draw it. Then this one is dr. So the rate of uh, increasing its uh, diameter ah uh, reduce. Then this one is the outside the the outside radius. So let's say from the center, this is R two. Then the other one, this one is R one. Okay, uh, internal diameter. So you have thickness here. You have a differential or the rate of increase into of uh, radius okay from that we will uh, have an area of what is our area thickness times since our area to be solved is Thickness multiplied to dr. What is dr? So this thickness multiplied to here. So that is our area. Okay. Since when you spread that uh, copper bar, is you will be having a uh, It's like this uh, when you spread the bar okay this one in this case this is the thickness and then this one is the dr okay then what is this one this is the length Length. So our length is is equals to two pi r. 
since uh, this is circular the circumference will be the length so when you spread this length is equals to 2 pi r 2 pi r okay let uh, substitute in the given uh, formula so in this case we have to substitute the receptivity times 2 pi r over t dr since it's a differential uh, equation we have to differentiate oh no 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 to integrate so we will come out with the value of resistance so let's use the inverse uh, of this uh, resistance so this dr will go to will go to the above so it will become a numerator so we can easily integrate it okay so what is the inverse of uh, resistance so we will come up with g or the conductance 1 over 1 over r so our formula since this is r so our formula this tdr will go to numerator tdr over density this one will go to denominator resistivity multiply to so 2 pi r Okay. And then we will come up with the equation this is dg the differential equation ah uh, the uh, yes differential equation so to came out with the value of g we will uh, integrate this uh, given equation so let's uh, erase first with the other you know, so we can okay so let's erase first this Okay. Oh, sorry. Let's erase here this. Okay. Okay. So in this case, we can uh, solve here. Let's solve the value of G, the conductance. Then we will reimburse to, to get the value the the value of our resistance. So since that is DG, so we'll have to provide integration here. So integrate, integrate here. So what is our limits? Our limits will be the internal from internal. Uh, you call this internal radius to outside radius so okay dg so our r1 this one is r2 okay you will notice in this uh, particular problem we will be using uh, integration uh, and because there's a sudden uh, there's a sudden no no there's an increase of uh, resistance due to the uh, cutting 
of copper in this area okay so we'll come out here what is the r1 our r1 will be the half of this uh, diameter this is the internal and this is the outside so let's say r1 r2 t dr over this tbt 2 pi r okay so in this case what is the integration integral of uh, dr over r okay so the integral of that is equals to so when we integrate the g will come up this with g and then we will put this t over t over this is the constant so you have 2 pi and then our uh, integration will be 0 0.5 inch into 4.5 inch so the integral integra integral of dr over r is ln what is that ln r okay R1 so we have to erase again another portion let us erase this since this is already in the equation okay So in actual uh, problem, when you're not uh, really practicing in this type of problem, it's too long to solve. Your time will lapse until you okay. In this case, we already integrate the the given equation so let's uh, solve here g is equals to t over resistivity of times 2 pi then the integ integral of that is ln r what is r from 0 0.5 to 4.5 so let's uh, erase again at this. Okay. Learn R came came from dr over dr over r. So let's uh, substitute all the given. Our thickness will be 0 0.125 over our resistivity is 1.732 times 10 to the negative 6. Oh no, that is to be substituted. So let's convert the ohm ohm uh, centimeter to inches. So multiply to ln what is the value of r? Ln r to 
sorry sorry you have to multiply the that into okay we have to multiply into let us substitute this 0.5 limits to 4.5 limits in this in this loan r so loan 0. Point, I don't know r2 this is r2 okay so we have to multiply it by loan r2 so this is 4.5 minus ln 0.5 so we have to convert the since our thickness is in inches and our diameter or radius in, in inches we have to multiply the this the resistivity into inches this centimeter should be converted into inches so but how do we convert that? We have to divide by multiply by 1 over 2.54 centimeter. So that is at the denominator. So centimeter will be cancel. Cancel. You will remain inches here. The above is inches. This uh, equation have uh, in inches uh, values. So our value of G will be let's uh okay let's calculate so the answer will be six four or zero two Point twenty five. Mo. This is the inverse of ohms. This is conductance. So to to get the value of resistance, you have to inverse it. So one over g. Uh, one over g is equals to. What's the value of that? Fifteen point. 15.527 so in this case so the answer will be letter letter b so this is one okay this uh, problem is very challenging when you did not know the proper uh, solution so in this case we we use the integr the integration to come up with the value of G and then to come up with the value of R we will uh, just uh, divide it 1 over G since this is the reciprocal of uh, conductance so this will be the answer letter B okay proceed number 10 determine the resistance of a conductor point 1 meter long 0.10 meter long with a uniform diameter of 1 centimeter and having a resistivity which varies as a function of of the length L measure from one end of the conductor according to the formula okay this problem is another challenging one because there's an equation so we will be having an integration as well on this problem so let's proceed okay let's uh, break down all the given okay so let's solve first the area okay what is the area pi over 4 pi over 4 d squared so what's that pi Okay, 
what is d what is the diameter diameter is one centimeter so we have one squared uh, over four so we have pi over four centimeter square so that is area then we have to solve the value of length okay the value of length will be 0.1 meter is equals to let us convert this a meter into centimeter so we have 10 centimeter then our formula will be r the same with the previous problem resistivity length over our area okay by that so let's uh let's integrate so okay r is equals to 1 over a since this is a constant 1 over a integration again 0 to 10 why 0 to 10 this is dl so this is uh, there's an uh, increase on the value of the length that's why this is dl so differential then we have to substitute the In this case, this is this is to create a uh, equation from this equation is from here. So we have dr dl equals to density over area. Okay. Then we came up here to remove the d in d. We have to integrate. So, you will come up with R only here. Then, the other one is remaining. Since the length have limits, we have to substitute that. So, 1 over area. Let's substitute the value of area. So, 4 over pi. Since the this 4 will proceed in the numerator. So, we have 4 over 5. And then, okay, 0 to 10. Let's uh, substitute this equation. Equation uh, point, point zero zero 0.003 plus 10 raised to negative 4 L squared d l okay by that we can uh, now integrate let's uh, integrate the given you know, given equation so you have 4 over 5 here and then multiply Okay, zero point zero zero three. Since the integral integral of this is, we will have a L with this. So point zero zero three L, and then the other one is what is the integral of this? So ten to the negative four. This one will have cube and then divide by 3 that is the integral of l squared okay then our limits is 0 to 10 where does 0 to 10 came from that is from 
this is the length so it is started from zero and then end with the this is the final then so from this equation we we are now ready to substitute the limits okay so 4 over 5 then 0 0.003 what is L? 10 plus 10 to the negative 4 uh, multiply to 10 cube over 3 okay then we have to subtract another another kind of this uh, problem but since the values is zero the other side will become zero as well so let's erase the other okay let's erase this we will put some uh, solution in this. This 9 and 10 problems is very uh, challenging. Right. Okay. So we're, uh, we're now nearing to the value of R. R is equals to... Okay, so the, the value would be, what are the value of this, this one, so the value is, Zero point zero eight zero six ohms. What is that? Where is that? This is no not available in the choices. So this is the answer. But when you compare with the choices, there's no... I think we can proceed with letter C, since this is the nearest. You can uh, try to compute as well this value. We have minus 0 here on the other side, since our uh, values is 0. So, when you multiply this 0 0.003, times 0 and then this L cube to 0 the whole value will become 0 so that's why did, we did not uh, just we did not uh, expand the substitution process we only uh, use this uh, equation okay so let's I will uh, just calculate Okay guys, uh, the nearest answer will be letter C, 0 0.0800. So, in board exam, you will just uh, look for the nearest uh, answer and the choices. Since, uh, you cannot change the choices. Okay. Okay, uh, our discussion will end on this uh, question number 10. So I think uh, some of the hard problems are already solved. So on the next video, we will solve the continuation of this uh, 1001 uh, electrical engineering book uh, solve problems. So 
that this is the end of the our uh, so, uh, solving uh, problem for now so subscribe to my channel for more uh, videos to upload then click the notification button so you will be notified if uh, we already uploaded our uh, videos particularly electrical engineering uh, academic subjects or other matters related to electrical engineering and the master plumbing as well so hanggang dito na lang muna babush